What's going on guys? Trevor here, co-founder of Peak Flow Media. I'm an e-commerce entrepreneur from Michigan, United States. And today we're going to be talking about must have Shopify apps for your high ticket dropshipping store. So we're going to cover all the Shopify apps that I have on my store and some other Shopify apps that you should consider having on your Shopify store. So let's go ahead and hop over to the computer and I'll show you exactly all the apps I have installed, what the purpose of each app is and essentially why you should have it installed and as well as the pricing with each one. All right, guys, we are now on the Shopify app store and on the Shopify app store, let's start with the very first app that I have on my list, which is going to be bold product options. Now, this is a very expensive app compared to many other apps. This is essentially going to be $40 a month. I thought it was actually my plan is actually $50 a month for some reason. Uh, maybe they decreased the price, but actually I'm looking at my other store on my other screen and I'm paying $50 a month. So maybe they decreased the price. So lucky you, you might be able to save $10 a month on this app. So what this app does is this is a very, very flexible app. And what it allows you to do is create options and like um, customizations for each product. Now, the use case for bold product options is to make your offer better. So my use case for this app is to add you know, upsells, product bundles, um, to add gifts, maybe free PDFs, uh, free video guides for the products to make my offer stand out from the competition. Why this is so important is because if 10 people are selling the same product, if 50 people are selling the same product and they're all advertising at the same price, they all have the same great customer service. Now it comes down to your sales team, your back end, and your uh, offer. So those are the three areas that you want to be looking at to make sure your offer is different from the competition. And a lot of times when I use bold product options, I'm able to make brands that I'm only making uh, decent sales with, and I can turn them into, you know, basically like better selling brands for the store. So highly, highly recommend this store. I mean, this app and with this app, um, again, here are the use cases. Now you can add like bundles. I use that for sure. I do like build your uh, build your bundle. Um, you can do free gifts and, uh, these are color palettes you can also do, but most, the most use cases try to add like free gifts, free offers with your, um, purchase in your product. That way you can make it different from your competition. So I recommend if you're going to get this app to go for the $40 a month plan because you can add, uh, you can add pricing. You can charge people for each option with the 1499. You cannot do that. So you need to basically spend $40 a month. And if you're going to, you know, spurge for a Shopify app, that's going to you know, actually drive revenue. I would go with this app hands down. Next is going to be Symprosis. And if you're just setting up your store, this is going to be absolutely necessary. I pay $36 a month. And the reason why I pay $36 a month is because I have a lot of products. So you can see on this pricing here, if you only have 500 products, you only need to pay $5 a month, but I have somewhere, you know, near a 30 to 40,000 products. So I'm paying like $36 a month on my main store. And with some process, this is an excellent, excellent, solution. a must have for all Shopify uh, high ticket dropshipping stores, uh, mainly because it syncs uh, your st Shopify store and Google Merchant Center, but also it has conversion tracking. A lot of people don't know this GA4 setup. Um, and, and enhance Google ads tracking and features like that all baked into some process and you can do custom labels, promotions, um, connect your Facebook catalog, a lot of things with just this one app and highly, highly recommend it. If you have done high ticket drop streaming before, you probably have heard of this app. Um, but with this app, it is a must have, it looks like this and, um, yeah, nothing much really to say about some process, Google shopping, a must have for all Shopify. Uh, stores. Next, we're going to talk about this app, which is going to be cloud search and product filter. This app is a search app. So what, what is the difference between the, just a normal Shopify search and this app? Well, with normal Shopify search, it does not pick up synonyms. It does not pick up, you know, similarities between titles with this app. As long as it syncs with your products, um, in your catalog, what you can do is you can add manual synonyms and um, you can see what people are searching and you can improve the search results to better suit the customer over time. 
And if this all sounds very advanced to you, don't worry. Um, you don't really need this in the beginning if you have a small store, but as you grow your store, this is absolutely necessary. Um, and with this store, what it does is uh, if you go to here, it, you can also add filters to your collection pages and search results. That way it can make it easier to narrow down for customers that are searching for the product. Um, and it kind of looks like this, basically when someone types in women's shoes, anything that has to do with women and shoes inside the collection or inside the description or in the title will populate here. If it were just a normal search, women's shoes, they only take information from the title. So if the title does not have women's shoes in there, then your results will not show up. So what this does also on this screen, this is what I'm talking about. You can see top searches, what people are searching on your store. Yes, you can do this natively with the normal Shopify search app that's free. But with this, you can see top searches with no results. And what you can do with this is these, uh, this is more of an advanced strategy that I've been um, implementing on my stores for quite some time that nobody else has really talked about which is people that search are, I don't know the exact metric, but are way more likely to convert into a customer compared to someone that doesn't search. So you want to prioritize and optimize your search. That's why a lot of people uh, pick, um, you know, themes with a big search bar in the middle of their website. And that is super, super important. People that search are way more likely to convert as a customer. And with this app, you can see results that led into no or searches that led into no results. And what you can do with these is if it's something obvious, like a product that you sell, what you can do is you can click on synonyms and then you can create synonyms. That way that misspelling or something that doesn't really show up, you can match it with something that does have results. And basically you, you just fixed your search bar um, and you just improved it over time. It's like search bar optimization. It's really, re really unique. And it's something a lot of people just don't do. So it's something that, you know, people don't even talk about. So for this app, I pay $12 a month. Um, it looks like they have a $14. So maybe they increase their pricing, but I'm only paying $12 a month on my store as of right now. All right. The next app after this cloud search and product filter is going to be judge me. So judge me is going to be a review app. So basically it does what exactly what it says display reviews on your website. Now, why judge me over a lot of other review apps? Well, this is actually the cheapest review app. It's completely free, but I actually have the $15 a month plan. And the only reason why I pay for this is for the Google shopping uh, star integration. What that means is like, if you have reviews on your Shopify store, it will automatically put those reviews on Google Shopping. You can also put that those reviews inside organic search results, boosting your uh, click through rate and overall your conversion rate, because more people that uh, land on your website equals more potential revenue to your business. So judge me is $15 a month when you are upgrading and you eventually want to upgrade. But in the beginning, it's completely free and it's an obviously a no brainer. And some other things I want to talk about judge me is that I use it to automate uh, requesting reviews. Now, I highly recommend you have virtual assistants or your sales team call customers once they receive the item and ask for a photo or a video review in exchange for some sort of value. It can be a gift card. It could be another free product from your website. It could be anything. You can just, just be creative and that's how you stand out from the competition and get real reviews from real customers and you can displace Display that on your website and even use that as remarketing, even more advanced strategies. So spilling the beans all out in this video. So judge me review app, highly, highly recommend it. And on to the next app, which is going to be called stock sync. So stock sync has, is an app that I've been using for a couple of years now, and um, it is an excellent, excellent app. And what the purpose of this app is, is to uh, automate um, or semi-automate your supplier inventory. So I know a lot of times people don't track inventory and it's really a personal decision. I like to track my inventory because I don't really like to sell items that are out of stock if I can avoid it. Obviously some suppliers, if you are already in the business, will not give you a inventory sheet and there's no way around it. But I would say 70% of our suppliers have inventory sheets and with those inventory sheets we use stock sync to keep our website updated in terms of how many items 
um, of that specific SKU are left. And that way, when someone purchases something, we know right away that it is going to be in stock ready to ship as long as we you know sync to inventory so that way we don't have to do as many back orders because yes you can take back orders but i usually like to avoid back orders as if i can because you basically get money up front for the order and then your supply doesn't charge you and then it makes your bank account look inflated and then um, maybe customers cancel then you have to refund them and then you lose out on fees so i don't really like to deal with that on unless i have to and obviously i do have back orders with my with majority of stores right now but if i can avoid back orders i will take that any day of the week and i pay 25 dollars a month for stock sync and i'm on the business plan that has um 25 000 SKUs. with my main store i have over 30 000 SKUs, so i'm on this 25 dollars a month plan however if you are you know with a small store you can just get away with the five dollar a month if you have less than three thousand SKUs. Um, you could do the free one. I think there's some limitations, but just a basic plan should be ideal for most people. So the entire purpose of stock sync is you can automate or semi automate the syncing of inventory. So that way, if your supplier gives you a sheet and it says, brand, this SKU has two items left or two, yeah, two items left in stock. It will show two items in, uh, left in stock on your store. So it automates that. Um, and then what you can also do with stock sync is you can upload products using a CSV sheet and you can format it in a way, drop into stock sync and it'll upload all the products onto your Shopify store. It can also do price updates in bulk. You can also do, um, add images in bulk. You can also put items out of stock in bulk. It's very, very flexible. And I basically use this for anything that has to do with like bulk changes to the website. So highly recommend stock sync when you are you know if you are tired of you know back orders and you you know just want a seamless uh, system in an app to kind of automate that next is going to be uh, vf image resizer i actually pay no money a month for this and the reason is because i installed this app when they just launched so i think they launched over a year and a half ago is when I first installed this app and I'm on a grandfather plan, meaning as long as I don't delete the app from my store, I get to use it completely for free. But I know this app is no longer free, um, but depending on how many products you have, you can get away with the free plan. 200 images a month is not a lot. And if you have quite a few products and if you're just starting, you might need to upgrade to this or this. But after you optimize all your images, you can go ahead and cancel the plan because you don't need any more image optimizations. And what this uh, app even does is, you know, obviously it resizes images. It also compresses images and it optimizes the images for SEO. So what it does is add a meta field or yeah, meta fields onto your images. So those images can rank inside Google, inside Google images, Google organic results. So VF image resizer, highly recommend it at some point. Um, all the images on your website, very the same size, all seamless and makes it look very professional and if i were to recommend an image resizer app i would go with this because i have personal experience i had to use this for nearly two years now i recommend this app next app that i have is going to be vitals so vitals is an app that has 40 apps in one and if you're asking why do i have this app well there's some features that i use from this and some of them i don't use at all i'm on the 29.99 per month plan and here it's some of the apps that I use. And then I use uh, sticky add to cart. I use shipping information. I use auto external links and then best sellers protection. So those are all the apps that I use personally for vitals. Yeah, only five apps out of the 40, but if you wanted to save some money, you could get away with using like the review apps. They're just not as optimal compared to judge me. It doesn't have every single feature that you want, but they are pretty valuable for just one app, $30 a month. And you can, there's quite a few apps all in one. So I might have to look back into this because it looks like they updated a lot of the new features, came out a lot of new apps as well. Like the size chart could be interesting depending on the product types that you have. Um, super interesting. Or I use Vitals. Next app that I use is going to be Buddha Mega Menu. And um, Buddha Mega Menu is essentially a Mega Menu app. And what it does is you can create custom mega menus for your store. And what this does is you can 
organize different collections on one single place. You can highlight different uh, products. Um, if they, those are best sellers, you can also, this is very flexible. Again, you know, you can do tabs like this. You can also do banners like this. Um, basically this is my go to mega menu app. Highly recommend it. Um, it does the job super easy to configure no issues with it and nothing really much to say about boot and mega menu i actually i pay 9.95 which is this plan right here and what the 9.95 plan does is like you can do unlimited um, tabs or better looking tabs and to me it's completely worth it because the navigation is important for our customers to find what products that they are looking for so boot and mega menu highly recommend it and next up we are going to be talking about a, another app gonna, that's going to be called B Profit. So I use a free plan for this and I'm on the grandfather plan, meaning I had this app installed for a long time and they s updated their pricing. So I'm actually on one of these plans, but I pay no money per month because I'm on an old plan that they no longer have. And what this does is you can basically connect this to your Shopify store, your Google ads account and it will automate all your accounting for you to some sort of extent. I know with high ticket, there's not like, not every supplier gives you like flat shipping or includes shipping inside the wholesale cost. And so you need to add that in manually for each order. But besides that, it automates all your ad expenses, um, how many, or your Shopify expenses, and then all your wholesale costs for your products. And it automates all that accounting for you. But I still use a Google Sheet just in case as a backup in case these numbers are incorrect. And I do check it over and this does get it correct all the time because it's just like QuickBooks, but it would be a lot more easier to digest for just someone that just wants to, you know, calculate how much money you're making without, you know, a bunch of spreadsheets or complicated software. So be profit, pay no money for this, but um, this app highly recommended once you are getting, you know, once you're doing like 50K a month in revenue. Next is gonna be this app called Order Printer Pro. And Order Printer Pro, I do not pay any money for. And what this app does is, is it makes uh, POs, which are purchase orders to suppliers and customers, a lot more professional. So it looks like this, instead of just a normal Shopify view. This makes it look a lot more professional and what it can do is if you have the cost of goods for the products on your Shopify backend, all you can do is, all you need to do is just click export, uh, export as a purchase order for supplier. And what it will do is it will print or it will create a PDF for the supplier um, of the wholesale cost in the order with the customer details and the products and everything. Instead of making the PO manually inside Google Sheets and then set and saving that and then sending it to the supplier, this just does it in one click. And obviously you need to have the cost of goods for the products entered in Shopify ahead of time. But if you have already have that, which you should, then there, sh there should be no issues with using this app for purchase orders. And it's just one click, no mistakes, because this is all pulled from the Shopify backend instead of having a human create the purchase order where they could make some mistake. So I recommend Order Printer Pro for automating your purchase orders and sending professional purchase orders or draft orders to customers. Next app is we are almost there. We have a couple more. Uh, SEO Ant. Um, actually, SEO Ant has a few apps, but the one that I use is trust badges and uh, an icon and basically all it does is add some trust badges under your add to cart i like to do like the check like the payment processor or payment methods that customers can use um, nothing much more than that it's a free app nothing else to say about it highly recommend having some very simple trust badges don't overdo it Next, we are going to be talking about Zapier. Now, this is not really a Shopify app. It's more of a online website as well. But with Zapier, you can install this on your store and you can set up a Zapier account in the Zapier is an automation app. And the use case for this, I'm on the $30 a month plan for your information. Um, Zapier, I use it to you know, notify our team of new orders, abandoned checkouts, so they can call the abandoned checkouts when they happen, but also um, daily check-ins and um, make in reminders for our team, making sure everything is checked over before they sign out. 
Um, so Zapier just does a lot of automation. It does way more than what it, what I just described. But with Zapier, you can connect many apps together, and it just you can set up very unique uh, automations, and it's very very flexible. Um, if you don't know what this app does, then and you don't know a use case for this, it probably has a use case for your business. It's just that flexible. Um, it, anything that you're doing on and on every single day, you could probably use Zapier to automate some of that and take a, and free some time from your workload. Uh, but Zapier is highly recommended once you are you know, scaling above, I would say 20, 30,000 a month. And then the last app on the list is gonna be this app called Keeper. Now this is actually an app that I used to use for low ticket dropshipping and I actually had this installed on my high ticket dropshipping store since day one. And I highly recommend you do the same because with Keeper, what it does is, I'll just show you this image. So let's say someone's checking out on their tablet and they add a product to their cart. Once they are on their desktop or their mobile phone, that same product will be added to their cart, giving you that Amazon effect. And obviously they need to be signed into the same Google account for this to work, but it's a no brainer. It's a free app. There's no risk to it. And it kind of adds a seamless feel to your store that otherwise would be kind of impossible without you know some sort of Amazon function to your website. So. Again, if someone checking out on their tablet and they're signing to the same Google account as their computer, that product that they added to their basket or their cart will be in their computer uh, or it will be on their computer as well when they are checking out on their computer. So highly recommend it. Definitely boosts the conversion rate. It's a free app as well and obviously no brainer to use because if you make it seamless for customers, they're going to more likely to convert for you. And all it does, all you need to do to use this app is just install it once and set it up and then you're good to go and you can just set and forget it. So those are all, so those are all the apps that I use personally for one of my Shopify stores. Again, if you use other apps or you don't use any of these apps, please let me know in the description below. And as always, I hope you guys took away value from this video. If you are brand new to Shopify dropshipping, we have a nine hour free course link in the description, as well as a Shopify free trial where you can use Shopify for 93 days for just $3. So if you want that, claim it in the description below. Lastly, if you're interested in working with me and my business partner directly one-on-one, -on -one, fill out the application down in the description below and we'll find the best program for you and we'll help you scale from zero to 10K a month profit in just 24 weeks. Hope you guys took away value and until next time.